Good morning, everybody. Lady Gem Chronicles. It was called Gemini Chronicles, but there's someone else with Gemini Chronicles, and I like my own shit. Right now, I'm outside. I've been outside since 7 a.m. Working out, playing basketball. I got my basketball on my back right now. But then too many dudes were at the court once after a while being there. They just started showing up and it's a fucking beautiful day outside. I want y'all to subscribe to this channel. Help me collect these checks, you know what I'm saying? Might not look like certifiable shit, but I don't give a fuck. I don't give two shits. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I had a small little egg sandwich. <laughs> I guess this login real quick is, uh, know your worth, you know? Know your worth. Love yourself more. Care about yourself more. And never, ever, 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 and this is just me from a lesson learned, never, ever get into a polyramous type of relationship. If you're married, stay married. If you're unhappy, leave the marriage or relationship or whatever. But never add another person into your relationship. It's the worst decision you will ever have to make unless you're just into that shit. I thought I was into that shit and here I am now with nothing. But hey, it is what it is. Most people say, oh, you, you gave it away. I don't know what I did. I thought I, cho I chose something thinking it was gonna make me happy and it doesn't. So here I am, busy. But I refuse to stay stuck there. I've been miserable since 2005. That's just too many years. And not so much miserable, just mentally unhealthy. And this is my comeback. And whoever doesn't like it can kiss my motherfucking royal ass. You know what I'm saying? This channel is for therapy. This channel is for fun. This channel is for you motherfuckers to look at me. <clears throat> right now I'm just walking this track. And trying to clear my head. You know, it's kind of... I notice it's poisonous. No, it's toxic, staying in the house, you know? It's, it's very toxic staying in the house, especially with my type of mental, mental disability. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say it. This is me opening up. This is me being as real, as raw as possible as I can be, because you can't do it any other way. You know, I'm always suppressing feelings, suppressing my happiness for everybody else. And I just refuse to do that shit anymore. I'm fucking tired, you know. I'm tired. This is the second part of the video from the first one. I, I dropped my phone, so it just stops with whatever the fuck I was saying in the first one. But yeah, I am. Um, I'm tired. And I didn't realize how unhappy I've been. What are you going to do? You know, you can either stay stuck or just do something about it. And I choose to do something about it after all these years. What got me like this, and I'm not using it for any excuse. <coughs> but, you know, back in uh, June 8th, 2005, I lost my... I lost my firstborn. Unfortunately, I don't have an answer of why she died or how she died, but I was told that she suffered from sudden infant death syndrome. That year was the hardest year of my life. What are you going to do? You just pick up and keep moving, you know? Every day is like a fucking brand new wound. And then my dumb ass thought that being in a poly type of relationship would bring me more happiness and all it did was bring me more depression. Ain't that some shit? 
Maybe my therapist is right. I don't need to be with anybody right now. But I've been committed for the last 15 years. And then it's like, why throw away 15 years, right? And it's not so much the 15 years that, that's making me unhappy. It's just realizing that I've been unhappy for so many years and didn't do anything about it. Just suppressed it. And I just can't do that shit anymore. Look at me. I'm talking to you guys and I got tears coming out my eyes. But it's fine. This is as raw as you're going to get me. This channel is just not about that. You know, it's about everything. I'm definitely going to post some fun stuff up in here. But you're also going to get a side of me that's very deep and very raw. And I hope you guys can subscribe and tell a friend and tell a friend to tell another friend and another friend to watch my shit. Because I am that bitch. <laughs> sick. A little bit sick, but I am that bitch, though, for the most part. I love acting. I love dancing. I love writing poetry. Um, I'm gonna lose some more weight. Um, this one's this channel is personal, but for the most part, I'm gonna try to make it as fun as possible so you guys can stay entertained. And I want to get paid by YouTube. So what's up? Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Watch my shit, even if it's for five minutes. Tell a friend. Share this shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta be, you know, I was told that if I'm gonna do a YouTube channel, I need to be raw. And f this is me reaching out to all the mothers, fathers who lost a child. I'm in the same boat as you. It's not easy. But after a while, it will get better. But you'll still have days like this. But. You just got to stay strong and believe in God that he will get you through it. You understand? But I'm going to be alright. I know that. I believe that. And a lot of people say, oh, you don't love yourself. I love myself. I just need to love myself more. I need to be more in love with myself and care about what's best for me in order for me to make it in this world I love acting so hopefully somebody can watch this video and send it to a cast uh, casting director or somebody because I can give you everything that you guys are looking for whatever you want I can provide it or maybe I should just come up with my own film and present it at, uh, what's that called, Festival Sundance or something like that, Sundance Festival. I might just do that. You know, I still got my goals that I want to do as far as uh, Lady Gem Customs with my designs. And right now I'm just trying to land a job so I don't have to feel the way I do and keep my mind going. I think that's why I left the house this morning. Yeah, so I just, you know, for you parents out there, once again, that's lost a child, you can hit me up, especially you newbies who just lost a kid. I've been dealing with this since 2005, and it gets easier, but it's not something, you know, it's it's like peeling a scab every day swallowing a razor razor pill a razor shaped pill trying to grasp with the fact that your child is gone and some days you have good days other days is just not so good it is just insane you know I miss her a lot but what are you gonna do you know sorry I'm using my shirt as a tissue but um I'm still that happy-go-lucky type of chick you know what I'm saying I uh 
Right now I'm like snorting like a cow. And I need to focus on Nancy, which is my name, also known as Lady Jam. And the people who really know me, they call me Teta because, yeah, no. <laughs> but this channel is going to be as raw and open and real. It ain't going to be that fake shit. And I hope you guys tune in. So tell a friend, Lady Jam Chronicles in the motherfucking building. And subscribe. You heard? I hope you guys have a blessed day. Mwah. I love you guys. Bye.